Hi guys, it's Shami. So we're going to do just a super quick project today. Um, what I have here is I have these gouache paints that I got at my local um, art store. They come with a bunch of different colors. It's just a basic set, you know, just um, basic, you know, we, um, just artists or student grade, lower end student grade um, watercolor paints. That's what I use, that's what I can afford, so that's what we're going to use today for this tutorial. So I'm just putting some out, and I do have some clothes pins here that I got from the dollar store. So we are going to make them all watercolory and fabulous, okay? So it's awesome. So I'm just going to squirt some out in this little pan. They come with this little pan, which is great. It was only $3.99 for 12 colors, so that is right up my alley. And like I said, they're not the best quality, but they work for projects like this and for basic watercolor. So I've never had fancy watercolor, so I don't know. Although the Primas look really cool. Those would be great to have. Don't those look awesome? Or those Neo Color 2, like crowns. Oh my gosh. Fancy, fancy. They have fancy stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting out a selection of colors. I'm putting a little bit down. I'm not putting very much in at all. Uh, we are going to add a little bit of white. And I think we need some yellow. That's more than a little bit of white, but <laughs> ready? Let's do some yellow too. And these are so fun to make. I'll show you what they look like in a second. Uh, but they're super fun to make. And they're little clips that you can, I use them by my computer kind of to stick my sticky notes on, but you can use them for so much. But this is what they look like. And they're so cool and so much fun to make and they're super simple to make. And these are the ones that I already glued the magnets on. So they're super simple to make and they're really fun. So I'm going to show you how to do them. Alrighty. So what you're going to do is you'll grab your clothespin and I'm just using a round brush, you know, from one of those sets that you can get at Michael's for like $4.99 and then I use like a 40% off coupon. And then I just have some water and I have a paper towel here too. And that's what I'm going to use to blot my, um, color off. Now I'm just going to take my little mini spray bottle and I'm going to just spray just a little bit of color down at first and then I can add more as I go. But this is just a really fun project. Really you could even do this with your kids and I think anyone would love to get these. So let's start with purple because it's my favorite color. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is just add paint. That's it. Not in any sort of pattern just one color at a time. Good. I can make it as big or just make a little spot, however I want. And I like doing these, you know, in a whole little kind of assembly line sort of thing going on. And then I can add more purple in a little bit if I want in just a couple spots. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel and I just blot out that color. And next, let's go into this green-ish teal color, which I love. And I'm going to add a little bit more water in there. Okay. And again, we're going to do the same thing. It's okay if they overlap a little bit. And I don't care if this gets on the sides of the clips. Um, I just want it to look really pretty and watercolor-like. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then we'll just take let our brush a little bit and I'm definitely going to use this um, paper too for other projects. It's so pretty with the watercolor paints on there. Alrighty and you can use you can do this with just the basic watercolors that you get at the craft store. It works great. I mean they're not they're awesome and I use them all the time for projects so you can definitely use that kind of watercolor too. Or you can use your fancy watercolors. I'm sure the color would be much more saturated probably. Um, yeah, so just use what you have. Hopefully you have a watercolor set. <laughs> I do like to buy different art materials. I mean, I do it, you know, at a price that I can afford, but um, just to experiment. I think you can't be afraid to, you know, try a medium that you've always wanted to try and see how it turns out because you never know how it's going to be. 
let's put some green there and this this is quite watery I don't know if you can really see but I mean it's really watery like I am using a ton of water on these and it's gonna take them a little bit to dry but I don't really care I just want to add not that long there we go now you can do both sides of these or just one side however you want it's up to you it's your project let's add some yellow I love yellow but I wanted to clean off my brush pretty well because it will run into everything and for the white I probably will use a different brush I got some green on there and I don't want it to become green I want it to stay yellow just like that okay so you see that it is coming together quite interestingly there we go okay and then we can add another color maybe um, I have some crimson that might be pretty or the pale green I think I already used that one though Ooh, I like the crimson let's use that one that looks pretty doesn't it pretty 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 and then this is black lamp Ooh, and I love that one and as I said I always tell you guys go to your art store don't be afraid to walk in there they have you know artist grade and also student grade materials that you can use um, that are awesome you know and I'm gonna just overlap the color a little bit I really want this to be really watercolor like so that's kind of what I love about watercolor is the colors kind of mix together so we're just gonna add a little bit of that more of that yellow in that place and I am using a ton of water Alrighty, let's add shimmer just red maybe just a touch and it's gonna kind of run into the the yellow and make kind of an orangey color so that's awesome and I'm just using like every color in the rainbow but <laughs> you don't have to do that and I do have white too so if you wanted to you could make these colors more pale um, yeah but I'm not gonna do that okay so let's use some of our white now and I'm gonna do it kind of in spots where I meant to use another brush but I forgot as I usually forget <laughs> important things like that it's okay though and I'm just adding just a little touch and it's gonna kind of lighten things up and get it going a little bit ready let's add some of this blue that's in there and I don't really care if the colors overlap it'll be fine doesn't really matter you're just supposed to have fun when you create that's what I'm all about if it's not fun I'm not enjoying it <laughs> you know and art should be that way it should make you happy when you do it you shouldn't be so hard on yourself or anything you just need to enjoy the process and I love giving away my projects as gifts I mean it's so special and you know it's and it's something that the person treasures you know so a lot of the things that you guys see me make I give away as gift to my friends you know to my family so it's fun some of them I sell at craft shows so it's fun it never goes to waste now if you wanted to you could add some black but I don't think I'm gonna do that just kind of being a little bit careful with the white because I don't want it to be tainted but wow I love these so these are awesome okay and you can you know push them up a little bit let the water run a bit just like that so how fun okay so 
I am going to use my hair dryer. And we're going to dry these up. So excuse the sound for a second. So we have a couple that are already dry, okay? So the ones that aren't, I'll just set aside to let those dry really good. Then we're gonna turn them over on the back and I'm just gonna do one on the back too so you can see that. And then I'll finish them up off camera and then I'll show you how we attach um, our clip. Our magnet, not our clip. How we attach the magnet to the clip, I mean. <laughs> Great English shimmy. Gosh, it's so funny. And I had this subscriber, she's so sweet. She's like, I'm so afraid that if I comment that I'm gonna say something wrong. And I'm like, I say things wrong all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. And English is my first language, but you wouldn't know it. Sometimes, I tell you what. <laughs> it's like, okay, shimmy, I don't know what you're talking about. You know. I call them brain farts, you know, when you want to say something and it doesn't exactly work. So we're going to go in with this green and I'm trying not to make mud, but I'm about to because I'm not really, I'm telling jokes instead of paying attention to what I'm doing. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> Alrighty. So never be, yeah, don't worry about it. It's okay. I just love hearing from you guys. I, you know, it doesn't matter to me and you'll never get criticism from me. And if you know someone wants to be a jerk and say something in the comments, they will totally get blocked from this channel. Like, I'm sorry, but I do not play that. I think there's enough hate, you know, and anger in this world. You don't need to be mean to people. And it was so sad today. Like I was on Instagram and this lady like had this quote and it was a horrible quote. And the scary part is like she said, like I was reading her profile because I was like, okay, who would say this? And she teaches children. <laughs> and it was such, it was a horrible quote. It was like, oh, if you like to talk about people, don't worry about it. Come with me and then we can talk about them together or something like that. It was really bad. So I was like, okay, glad she's not teaching any kids that I know. <laughs> You know, sometimes we look at children and we think, oh yeah, like, why are they exhibiting this behavior? And it's like, hmm, they're probably getting it from, you know, from us sometimes, I think. And we don't take accountability, myself included. You know, sometimes you say things and you don't mean to or, you know, and children see that. So that's kind of random, but yeah. But I just thought of that. I was like, like, what kind of a jerk would ever, you know, be mean to someone because... English isn't their first language and to think that you would make someone feel so bad that they're afraid to comment you know on a video that's crazy but you know that's kind of the society that we live in I'm sorry if you don't want to hear about this but <laughs> that's what's on my heart so yeah but I'm glad I have really nice subscribers so you don't have to worry about that you really don't we just want to hear from you and they're very helpful. They always leave. You guys are awesome the way you answer each other's comments. It's great. Like I'll, you know, it takes me a little bit sometimes to answer all the comments and I'll look and someone has already given the answer. It's so fabulous and wonderful. It's like we're a little community. So I love that. And I'll do my best to protect that, you know, because it's not an easy thing. So that's the way those look. And I'll show you on the back. I really love that backside. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Okay, so once you get them all painted up the way that you want, 
what you're going to do is you are going to grab them. These are darker and I did decide to paint the sides of them but I really love the natural wood showing so I'm, I'm not going to do that um, with these that I just did. But here's one that I did from before and I didn't add white but I really think the white makes a difference. Okay, So that's how that one looks. Now I'm going to seal the color in here. Okay, And how I'm going to do that is first it's kind of a tedious process but to me it's much much easier than you would think. What did I just do with my spray? Oh my gosh okay well oh there it is sorry guys let me get up for a second here. I have my Americana glossy spray in this room I have all the windows up so it's not too bad, but make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. And I have a couple more that I did too. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to spray them. Okay. And what that does is it seals in the color because if I was to put a sealer on top of this, the color would come up. Okay. So all I do is just shake the bottle really well. And then I just go over it just quickly like that. And then I just let that dry. So this one I already did that with. Okay. And then another step that I take is because I want these to be protected I want them to last a while is I add some triple thick so literally this is an Americana product but it's really it's a great coating okay and I take one of my knockabout brushes and one that I don't care about that I use for mediums and I just seal it in and then I just let that dry okay and then it just creates kind of a really shiny beautiful finish and it protects that watercolor too. So it won't rub off on anything or anyone or anything like that. Okay. So this one I did before. So it's all shiny. You can see that shine. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I am going to attach the magnet. Okay. So I have some magnets here and I got these from my dollar store. They sell them in small packs. So that's what I'm using. And then I have my deco arts, um, media liquid glass and you could use um, glossy accents any kind of really glue that's really gonna stick really well now I like to put the magnet like right in here so kind of a little bit above where that little silver clippy thing is that allows you to clip and as I said I love having these by my computer so you just squeeze some out and then you apply your magnet okay and I do recommend that you do use a strong glue because, and you could also do the strips of magnets too. Um, just make sure that the magnet's strong. Um, I do recommend that you do use E6000 or this kind of glue just so your magnet doesn't go anywhere. Okay. And I do that for like my pendants and my domino pendants and stuff. I always use E6000 or this works really, really well. Glossy accents, I have had a problem with it like coming undone which is really annoying so that's what I recommend that's a product that I love so that's what I would use and this is dry enough now where we can work it with it so it's all that and as I said you don't have to do both sides because really the person will only use one side I mean you'll only be able to use one side so it really doesn't make a difference and you just take it and you brush it on there and I will show you like if I just tried to brush it on there with one that I did, um, how much color comes off. I'll show you that. So I have one here on the floor. I'll try not to move the camera here. <laughs> okay, just like that. Alrighty, and you can take it and let's add triple thick. And you could just use Mod Podge. That would be fine too, like the glossy kind. I just want to make sure that it's sealed, but I don't know if you can see, there's some color on here. So let me take my paper towel, white part, and there's not very much because I've let these dry very, very well, but I mean, it does scrape off a little bit. So just kind of keep that in mind. I recommend that you spray it first, or you can just go for it. I mean, it wasn't as much, so maybe the problem was that I just didn't let them dry. Maybe that was it. Let's try it. Let's try an experiment. So this one just dried. This is the one that I just did. And let's see if any more comes up. If I just 
take it and brush. Maybe you just have to let it dry fully and you can just use the triple thick without having to spray it. Hmm. And you know what? Yeah, it's not moving at all. So I think it's drying. I think you just have to let them dry very, very well and it's much not much color that's coming off. So you don't have to do the spray step. You can just use your triple thick depending on what kind of watercolors you have. Yeah. But see, that one's done too, so I can apply a magnet to that. So these are the ones that we just did together, which I love. They're all watercolory and gorgeous. So pretty. And it just brings out the colors, I think, a little bit more. So I love doing that. And that's the one that I just went over. And the triple thick dries really fast. Like, this is the one I just went over with triple thick, and it's good. And then there's that one. I think that one's my favorite. And then there's this one too. So this is a super fun project that I love and it's an easy way to use your watercolors and make some gorgeous magnets to give to, you know, someone that you love <laughs> or someone that you know will appreciate them. So um, I care about you guys so much and I hope you guys are doing well and um, I'm so grateful to have you and I hope you have a wonderful weekend okay so I hope you make some of these they're super fun they totally stick to metal even this little can and then I just stick sticky notes and things in them okay just like that and then you can stick your notes in I put them on the side of my computer because I have a big old monster computer <laughs> that's been refurbished so I just put it on the side and then I can hang little notes on them and they're so fun and super cute so this is just a fun little crafty idea um, that I have for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and if you know someone that wants to that you think would like this video please don't forget to share it with them and if you could pin this on one of your Pinterest boards I would be very very grateful Okay, so you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.